Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Dean, your brother in Dean. Welcome back to another video. I am here at the outdoor with Dean headquarters. Today I'm gonna be sharpening my axe and I'm gonna guys show you how I do this. I have a trip, camping trip coming up in a couple of weeks. So I gotta get prepared for that. I gotta get my uh, chainsaw, my uh, axes. I gotta get that sharpened in uh, next week. I gotta go cut up some firewood for my uh, camping trip. So I gotta get my axes sharp and I gotta get my uh, chainsaw chain sharpened as well. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how I sharpen my axe. I'm gonna be using uh, my work sharp. I've done a review on this before. And uh, as you can see, this is set up for the knives, or you can just take off the attachment, set attachment on the side. And what's good about this is a little knob over here you can just turn and make this easily into a grinder so the belts i'm going to be using today you can use three different types of belts uh, the green one is 80 grit i have a brown one that's 220 and i'm gonna have the last one that i'm gonna use is 1200 grit it's a uh, it's like a belt for strapping the edge so to keep the edge nice and shiny and to keep it from rusting now if you don't have this you really don't need this to sharpen things this just makes it easier and quicker and you guys know i don't like to waste my time like to get it as quick as, as I can. Things that you can use instead of this, you can use a file. You can use a sandpaper, like those sandpaper blocks. Usually they have a couple of different grits on them, like maybe 120 and 180. And you can also you could also use a whetstone. That's also another good good thing to use is a whetstone. Whetstones do a pretty good job if you have a time to do it. But with my schedule being so busy, I try to get my things sharpened as fast as, as I can, but to be the best as it could be and to perform the best as it can. I'm gonna be Sharpening this axe here This axe been used many many times I can also see some illumination here I'm gonna have to bring it down I'm gonna be using 220 grit on here. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna bring this edge down So I get rid of that chip that I have there and you can also tell here from, from using it, the rubber around the handle is kind of breaking apart. But this is still good axe, and I'm gonna keep on using it years to come. So, let's get the axe set up in our vise here. And let's get sharpening. So it's always good to have some kind of vice to keep it from sliding and as well to keep it from falling out and maybe falling on your feet and injuring you even though they're dull but weight of this by itself just falling on on your feet or on the body parts you can easily injure. So we got it secured. 
nice and secured. We got it. We got our plug sharp plugged in, so we can get started on bringing this edge down. Now that we have that grinded down with 220 good, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put 1200 good on there just to smoothen that face of the edge down. So every time, if you look, look at the edge under the microscope, the less grooves it has, the better it cuts so this is this is really smooth that actually there is a little compound you can put on this at the end once i get my bevels done over here on this side and this side i'm going to use this to smooth it in down for now i'm going to use this belt just to bring this bring it down and kind of polish it up Okay, that should be enough. I can already see my reflection on the edge there. So that should be enough. Now the next thing is I'm gonna loosen the vise and I'm gonna turn, turn it like this. The reason why I turn it like this, it's gonna be a, a lot easier for me, for me to work and to get the edge sharpened. So just make sure in the same amount of times to go on one side as on the other. And uh, when you're making your passes, on the side to make that bevel, you have to feel from the other side to feel that burr kind of folding over. So once you feel that burr, you need to go to the other side. So here we go. So I'm using 120 good belt uh, and it's not doing fast enough job for me here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that off I'm gonna use this green one this is 80 grit and this is gonna make this process faster I don't want to spend too much time on this. So here we go. Once I feel that burn, <clears throat> I'm gonna stop with the 80 grit. I'm gonna switch back my 220 and I'm gonna have my axe facing up so now I can work on that edge without bending over and looking at it since I feel the burr on this side not on the other side I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna start bringing that edge you can feel this edge already, it's sharp, but I don't think it's, uh, it's sharp enough. There we go. So, I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm gonna finish on this side over here.
Okay, so I made three or four light passes on this side here, and I can't feel any burr on that side. Now I can feel it on the other side. So the purpose of the burr is the edge it's supposed to be like that. When the burr is made, it makes the edge kind of curly. So what you're trying to do is get the burrs from both sides to make that edge like that so it cuts really nice. There you go. That has a really nice edge now to it. There's no burrs on either side. It's really sharp. Now, what I'm gonna use is this 1200 grit belt. This is just a leather belt. And I'm gonna smoothen down everything, make it nice and shiny, and also keep it from rusting. There you be. It's done. It's got a nice edge to it. Doesn't have any chips anymore. It's sharp. It's ready to go. That will be it for this video today. Don't forget like and share. And if you guys have any comments, please comment down below. And I'll, I'll try to answer any of your questions that you guys have. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.